In 2014, SpaceX and Boeing joined NASA's commercial crew program together. One was a venerable giant with a legacy in aerospace that stretched back more than 100 years and a role in every major moment in NASA's history. The other was a relative upstart that in its early days was derided as little more than a delusional billionaire's fantasy and that critics said was building its rockets out of wax and rubber bands. No one thought Elon Musk's SpaceX would ever beat Boeing to space. However, the result is completely opposite, recognized by astronauts. The whole world watched the miraculous landings and flights that took humans beyond the boundaries of the Earth, and the astronauts' favor for SpaceX Dragon emerged as something undeniable. Meanwhile, Starliner is still struggling to fix the software, hoping the first manned flight will go smoothly after many delays. And even if it does fly in the near future, the astronauts won't care about it anymore. And the question is, why do astronauts prefer SpaceX Dragon to Starliner? Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. Dragon is the spacecraft developed by SpaceX. It has enjoyed remarkable success and has become a cornerstone in space exploration. The spacecraft's resiliency and reliability were demonstrated through a series of successful missions, especially those involving ferrying crews to the International Space Station. Since then, Dragon has received the trust of space agencies and the admiration of astronauts. The latest completed flight with a crew was Axiom Mission 2. Dragon was once mocked as just a trampoline, but now it has become much more superior. It was launched on May 21, 2023 and successfully docked a month later. SpaceX, we would like to tell you, that was a phenomenal ride, said Axe, to Commander Peggy Whitson, a former NASA astronaut and veteran of four space flights just after splashdown. We really enjoyed all of it. Every story comes to an end and this is only the beginning of a new era for our country and our region, Barnowee said during a farewell ceremony on the ISS on May 29. So, I'd just like to thank everyone here who has helped us, she added, fighting back tears. These guys, they welcomed us on board, the Axe 2 commander said, referring to the crew members of the ISS current Expedition 69 mission. And they've helped us a lot, but they've also just been so courteous and kind. And we really appreciate all of that. We felt at home while we were here. Thank you, and I will be back. The previous flight, SpaceX Crew-6, was launched on March 2, 2023, and docked with the International Space Station nearly one month later. The members of SpaceX's Crew-6 mission, which has spent more than six months aboard the International Space Station, delivered their farewell remarks from orbit, thanking everyone for their support as they prepare to depart on September 2. When we showed up here six months ago, it was a new experience for all of us, NASA astronaut and crew 6 Commander Stephen Bowen said during the live-streamed remarks on NASA television. I'd been to space, but never been on a long-duration mission, and this has been an absolutely incredible experience. I felt that I'm responsible, obligated, to show what's happening with the station, Al Niadi, the first person from the UAE to do a long-duration mission and a spacewalk said of his outreach focused especially on the UAE, which included hundreds of posts on social media with pictures and videos that documented his daily activities. I think it's a small boost towards spreading the enthusiasm in our region. I can't be happier. With the time I was here, I was doing everything possible. The interests of these astronauts are not merely coincidental, rather. They stem from the outstanding features and capabilities built into Dragon's design. During both missions, astronauts experienced firsthand the cutting-edge technology and innovations that make Dragon stand out. And obviously, Starliner was quickly forgotten. So why? Why is Dragon given greater priority by astronauts? For the most part, one thing is for sure. The Dragon's success has been proven through completed flights. It is very safe and reliable. Since 2020, the crewed Dragon spacecraft has performed 10 missions, seven flights for NASA and three flights for commercial customers. These flights included many firsts, such as Inspiration 4, 
the first fully commercial spaceflight, and Axiomon, the first fully commercial mission to the ISS. Several more Axiom flights as well as commercial flights from Polaris, the Inspiration 4's successor, are planned. To tell all of SpaceX's missions, an eight-minute video cannot cover them all. Regular flights to the ISS are not only an opportunity to participate in research and experiments, but also provide an immersive experience in space. For astronauts, schedule flexibility is an important factor. Meanwhile, Boeing is still trying to conduct the first test flight with a crew taking off from the ground in April 2024. On top of that, in terms of size and capacity, the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft has a diameter of 3.7 meters and a length of 8.1 meters, while the Boeing Starliner spacecraft has a diameter of 4.56 meters and a length of 5.3 meters. This means that the SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft is somewhat wider and taller than the Boeing Starliner spacecraft. Astronauts have more space to move and work. The roomier confines of the Crew Dragon spacecraft offer astronauts, allowing them to navigate and conduct experiments with greater ease. This additional space becomes particularly crucial during long-duration missions, where comfort and functionality play pivotal roles in ensuring the well-being and efficiency of the crew. The Crew Dragon spacecraft can accommodate a maximum of seven astronauts, while NASA's commercial crew program doesn't require more than four astronauts at a time. SpaceX faced challenges related to concerns about gay forces during splashdown. In response to these concerns, SpaceX had to adjust the angle of the seats. This modification meant that they could no longer accommodate seven seats as originally planned. Consequently, they had to reduce the seating capacity to just four. However, even with this reduction, SpaceX Dragon still boasts a greater capacity compared to its competitor. What's more, the astronaut's favoritism towards Dragon is not only rooted in its modern design or flight safety, but also in the cost-effectiveness it brings to space exploration. At a price tag of $55 million per seat, Dragon stands out as a more economical choice compared to its counterpart, Starliner, which demands a heftier $90 million per seat. The financial aspect becomes particularly notable when considering that Starliner, at its current price, has yet to undergo crewed flights. This raises eyebrows among the space exploration astronauts, as the $90 million per seat expense seems particularly steep for a spacecraft that has not yet proven its capabilities with a crew on board. In summary, Boeing created Starliner. It was not only a failure but also ruined this aerospace company. The extended timeline introduces a series of challenges and implications for the potential aerospace company Boeing. Boeing has faced several technical problems with Starliner, including software problems during the spacecraft's first uncrewed test flight. So, the mission's liftoff has been repeatedly postponed. CFT was supposed to fly this July, but that plan was scrapped after teams discovered problems with Starliner's wiring and parachute system. Phil McAllister, the director of NASA's Commercial Space Division, stated that plans for the Crew Flight Test Mission, or CFT, we're on track for a launch as early as April 14. This will be a potential flight test and Boeing has been struggling to get their Starliner capsule working for so long. Boeing's delay further shows that it is still very far from being able to catch up with SpaceX in this space race. SpaceX, Starliner's main competitor, has had much success transporting astronauts to and from the ISS. What challenges does Boeing still have to face in the coming time? While we eagerly await the return of SpaceX's Crew-7 mission, NASA has announced the crew members who will participate in the next orbit to the ISS called SpaceX Crew-8. The precise launch date of SpaceX's Crew-8 mission has not yet been confirmed, but it is expected to take place in the first quarter of 2024. Crew-8 will take over for Crew-7, which is set to launch from Kennedy Space Center in the coming weeks. Because Crew-7 intends to stay on the ISS for six months, Crew-8 could launch in February. This is one of the big challenges for Starliner. Because SpaceX will make the 8th T-crewed flight, and Boeing doesn't know if the upcoming flight will be postponed again in April 2024. Boeing also had other software-related challenges, and it had difficulty transitioning to using a new rocket, the Vulcan Centaur. Before that, Starliner was designed to launch into space on United Launch Alliance's 
ULA Atlas V rocket. The Starliner problems have also damaged Boeing's reputation. In other words, Starliner is Boeing's time bomb. The company has been known for its long history of developing reliable products and services, but Starliner has shaken this belief. So what do you think about those issues? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Comment below. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.